Welcome back friends of the homestead. In today's video, we're gonna be testing the new Harbor Freight Badlands Apex 12,000 pound winch. Now a perfect opportunity arose as we were cleaning up around the stream. I found a very strange surprise. Look a little closer. Do you see it right there? This appears to be a very, very old, probably about a hundred year old, most likely a logging truck or a, a big heavy truck of some sort. It's got to be from the 30s. If I had to guess, it looks, it's got those big fenders like you see on a 32, 34 Ford or some of the old Dodges. I guess they all had those big fenders. And it is down here in the stream where it was left for who knows what reason. I didn't even know it was here until we started clearing out. It looks like the whole frame is intact. It's all, here's a section right there you can see. And we even have the cab and what appears to be the rear bumper. When it comes to a basic rigging kit for a winch, you need about uh, five things. Well, actually you only need five things. That's a great basic kit. You need a tree strap, you need a couple shackles, soft or hard, and you need a block, snatch block, or a pulley. Man, if that doesn't give you the fizz, goodness. Uh, even this big one won't fit around there. And if I were to use a soft one, even though it has this abrasion resistant stuff on there, it's going to get damaged on that sharp metal. So, you know, you're just, if you're just going to have one, goodness, hard to, hard to beat just an old logging chain. Do yourself a favor and get yourself one of these. Silky Pocket Boy, small Japanese handsaw. This thing literally in the springtime when everything's growing and especially if you work outside uh, is part of my EDC. I just carry it in my back pocket. Now we can install our block. This is a block, You've probably seen them before. This is Harbor Freight's new one. This is the first time I'm using it. It's rated for 20,000 pounds, so that should do it. And these swivel open so you can get your line in there. Here is something I've never seen before because I've not used synthetic line. There's not as much line on this, I think, as my wire rope on my 8,000 Warren, but it's, see how it's red here? I'm gonna make a guess that this is, you wanna make sure that the red is in, so that would probably mean you have a full set of wraps on the winch. Uh, you're not gonna break the ferrule at the ends. <laughs> I'll tell you, I like that wireless. And back to your truck. And for goodness sakes, if you guys have a truck, get some hooks on it. Whatever you have to do. There's lots of different kits. You can get stuff that bolts onto frames. You don't have to buy full bumpers. But you, got, if you, you need to have a trailer hitch on the back with a shackle converter. And you got to have a hook on the front. Even Jeeps. I pulled out a Jiraiya's uh, Jeep this year. We had nothing to hook on. A trail rated badge on the side of it and nothing to hook on. Shame on you, Mopar. Goodness, guys, this wire, having this wireless, I didn't realize how handy this was. Usually I'm tethered. I, can, I could not get more than 10 feet away from the, the truck because it's tethered by the cord. This is amazing. Did I mention I have dual alternators? You guys ready to pull this whole wreck out of here? What's the chance of this wench tearing this thing in half? All right, I'm ready, but are you ready? Have you clicked the thumbs up yet? I'll wait. You got it? Give a few more seconds for our, our East Coast guys. All right. Here we go. Man, I'm all about this wireless. This is really nice. Oh, it turns itself off so the battery doesn't go bad. All right. 
I'm going to retreat to a safer distance. All right, so even with the emergency brake on, it's pulling the truck. That's pretty standard. So we need to do one of two things, hook another truck to it or a tractor or a chain or a rope back to an immovable tree. I know it's tempting, but don't use your trailer ball for pulling. It's not designed for that. And if that thing breaks, you've got a two pound chunk of steel on a slingshot. I got it one piece at a time. Yeah, so <laughs> I was afraid of that. Uh, it pulled that engine cradle right out of there. So now we're gonna hook back to the frame itself. Let's take a look at the components and see how they held up. Uh, the winch was flawless. It pulls very hard, very, uh, a lot stronger than the old 8,000 Warren, no doubt about it. Uh, very, very powerful. I have some serious uh, reservations and concerns about this synthetic line. So this is the red section. When I was pulling it out here to inspect everything before I rolled it up, I noticed that there's a lot of deformities in here. Now, we pulled just about, the, the winch didn't time out. I mean, it didn't pull to its complete capacity. It never stopped pulling, but it was darn close. But you can see there that that is um, almost melted and deformed and, and it's gotten very hard. Now, when you have these hidden winch mounts, you, you can't really see the drum and you can't control how everything spools in, but I, that's nothing unusual. These are very common. Look at this. So right here where it was connected, this, now this was the first time I've ever used it, the first time I've used this line, but look at that, that's actually hard and it feels like it's burnt. I, I don't know that I would trust this uh, anymore and that's kind of a shame after one pull. Same here, it looks like a, a garter stake that's been ran over and dried out in the sun, but this is all sections here where it's burnt and flat. 
Yeah, I mean, it's hard. There's th This stuff's convenient and nice. I, I don't know if this is common uh, to this synthetic line or if this is something that the Harbor Freight Winch suffers from. Uh, maybe there's user error. I don't know. I've always used wire rope and never had any problem. But even, even on spots where it's not burnt, it looks a little, it's a little furry and fuzzy. You know that, I don't know. You guys tell me if you have more experience with the synthetic line. I mean, everything, it all, everything is about compromise, right? You sacrifice durability for, for weight. I would probably recommend getting a backup uh, roll of this synthetic line uh, if I was gonna do some serious winching. Um, I don't know if it's gonna break. I just don't know, but it doesn't look good. As far as this end, the hook, Perfect, no problem. Uh, the snatch block, this is, the, I wanted to use the Harbor Freight snatch block so that uh, I didn't know if there were some issues with the, the, this pulley design or the shape that needs to be, or a material that needs to be used with the synthetic line, uh, but that's what we used. And then of course, uh, the Harbor Freight forge shackles, um, just fine, yeah, no problem. E even under that load, they still release perfectly. So those are very nice. So that is, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that's the, uh, that's, that's the test. And I have to say, am I a little bit dark there? I have to say that that's a really strong winch. What I like about it, I like this wireless controller. Man, I have never had that. That was so nice that I could, if I was pulling, I could stop and I could go down and I could look. Um, I could change position. I could get into an area that I felt like I was safe. Um, this is, is really nice, but I'd say successful. It, it was really good. I just don't know about that cable, that line. Uh, I picked this up off the ground too. This was a protective cover that went between the red and the black, and that um, kind of got sheared off when we were pulling. I don't know what else I could have done. I, I mean, I mean, I, as it was spooling in before it came tight, I made sure that it was all nice and tight around there, but uh, it might be just the way that it is. Wire rope might be in my future because uh, that stuff is where it's like iron. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't click the thumbs up earlier, I invite you to, to do that now. I will, um, I'll get all the stuff together and uh, kind of do a quick video uh, about uh, basic rigging stuff that you guys should have. These are some basic skills that, um, you sh that every guy should have. Even if you don't have a winch, you should kind of understand how to hook up a chain, how to do rigging. Goodness, as an excavating contractor, we had lots of young guys that came through and they didn't even know how to hook a, they knew nothing, how to hook a chain. So if you can kind of master these fundamentals that I shared with you today, you'll be uh, in the top 5% uh, of young men, if not the top 1% to actually know how to do these things. Because they, these are things you need to know. You need to be a, a professional homeowner is, a, is an all-purpose man. You want to be an all-purpose man. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video. Slower or faster? faster. More or less? Faster.